Hello and welcome back to a bug report update video by me, Foxy Hotel, here on a download of the Truly Bedrock Realm. And the I have just put out a bug report video basically showing that depending on what chunk you're in, chunks can break. So in this chunk here, you can see that this observer is firing every time it sees that redstone block. That's behaving normally, but in this chunk, the observer is fixed. It's stuck. It can't update quick enough. And there's a big delay. When I turn that off, it's going to take ages before that actually turns back on. If I put some redstone dust down, it's going to take ages before it activates again. And the same thing is happening with water as well. So if I come over to here into a chunk that is perfectly fine, you'll see the water disappears fine and it runs out fine. But if I go into a chunk where the water is... Oh, a broken chunk you'll see that the water takes absolutely ages to update and then absolutely ages to disappear again and fortunately i have found a solution to this problem although it might take you a long time to fix it because the solution's not the easiest thing in the world but before i get into the solution let's talk about what is happening here so when i first saw this and i only just saw it today I was thinking, what would make this happen? Why is everything absolutely fine in this chunk, but things are not fine in that chunk? And if we do another test here, if we put a piston in that spot there and stick a redstone block on the top, and on obs no, not on observer, we just want redstone dust for this one, and we set that off, you'll see this dispenser actually takes a little while before it kicks in, but it does eventually kick in. You can see it's kicked in now. There's no items in, so oh, there are items. You can't see them because I've got a resource pack on. But yeah, that is ticking away, and if I turn it off, it will continue to tick until that delay is gone. So I theorized that there is some, some amount of data that the game is having to process more in this chunk than in this chunk. And perhaps too many things have happened in this chunk, and the game just can't catch up. It's basically got a long list of pending updates to do before it gets caught up. And I think that's correct. So what are we going to do now is we're going to actually look inside the code using a couple of programs. And the first program we're going to use is something called MC Tool Chest. And if I open up this Chunk Errors world in here, it takes a while because it's quite a big world. And when I say it takes a long time, I mean it takes a long time. This thing has now been loading for about two minutes, but it will come through eventually. Fortunately, this isn't the tool we're actually going to use to fix it, but this is what we're going to use to actually see what the problem is. Another tool we will be using to fix it is a lot quicker and easier than this one. Okay, it's finally loaded, so let's maximize this. We're going to go to the overworld section, and we're going to find the region file that our chunks are in. And I've used this little website here, called Dinner the Bones, Minecraft Tool Coordinates. And what you do is you put in the coordinates of where you are, where the chunk broken chunk is. It gives you the chunk numbers, and it also gives you the region file, which is really handy. So we want region minus 7, and then 3. Minus 7 and 3, which is this one here. And we want chunk minus 201 by... 117 which is this one if i double click on this chunk we've got a few very interesting things first of all we've got this thing called pending ticks and in here can you see we've got a tick list with 8258 entries in it and basically each one of these entries is something in the game that needs updating every tick so every single tick it's doing an update on 8,258 things, which is a lot of things for it to process. If we look at the chunk directly next to that one, which was this one, and look at the pending ticks, there isn't actually any on that one. Let's have a look at another one. There we go. This one's got 2,688 entries in it, so that was another broken chunk. There are some that just have like one or two. So most of the chunks that I'm looking at here don't actually have any pending ticks in there. This one's got two here. This one here, that one's got 2,600 in, which is a lot less than the other one. And ones that I was looking at earlier when I did this the first time around, that one's got 4,000 in it. So that's probably another broken chunk. There we go. This one's only got three, look, three things. So that chunk will be absolutely fine. And all it's saying here is there's a bubble column there it needs to update. There's another bubble column there it needs to update. And there's another bubble, bubble column. And it's telling it where those bubble columns are and what, up, what tick it needs to update on. So when you find a chunk like the one we've got, which is broken, which has got 8,000 pending ticks in there, the game is basically processing these 8,000 ticks in that chunk every single tick, which you can't do. It just can't do it. So it completely lags out just that chunk, which is quite good in a way that it's just lagging out one chunk rather than the entire world. So how do we fix this then? Now, what I could do is I can try very hard to select all 8,000 of those and hit the delete button. But when I do that, 
it actually crashes my PC. So, and I've got a pretty good PC. So what we're going to do is we're going to forget this program. That's just the explainer. We're going to use a different program called Universal Minecraft Editor. And if we make that one a bit bigger and we find the same file, this one's actually got a chunk locator in it, which is handy. So we can go straight to the coordinates. We don't need to use Dinnerbone's website. And if we put the coordinates in there, it actually gives us a map where we can select. Now, I've put these little red lines in the chunks that are broken. So I know that one's broken, that one's broken, that one's broken. There's also one over here that's broken. But I know this one's fine, and I know that one's fine. So if I go to this one, which I know is broken, and open that, it's going to come up with this. And then you can see in here, pending ticks. It doesn't give us all of the data, but we can see there's quite a lot of bytes of data there. And all you have to do is right-click it and click Delete, and it's gone. That's it, completely done. So if we then choose this t chunk here, which was also broken, you can see that's got quite a big file size as well. Just delete it. It's gone. All done. And then let's find one that didn't have a red line in it that was working okay. Can you see there's no pending chunks on that one already? So it's just ones that have got these pending ticks. Look, that one's a big one as well. Get rid of that. Job done. So now all I have to do is save that. That's going to save that world. And then I can go back to Minecraft. And I can open that same world, which is called Chunk Errors. And when it opens up, you'll see that now in all of those chunks, everything works as normal. So that one's flashing, that one's, oh, this one's stopped because I took the redstone off it. That one's flashing. So the height of elevator's going, and when you stop it, it stops instantly. If we get some running water, we'll see the running water works. Now, this one worked already anyway, so let's just sort that out. That one's absolutely fine. But if we put some running water in this chunk here, this was one of the broken chunks. So let's do exactly the same thing and we'll see that the running water now works absolutely fine. So all we've done is got rid of those pending chunks. Now this one we didn't fix. This one had the problem still and you can see that problem still exists. So we can go into that chunk and delete that as well. So the downside for this is that you do need to go into that file, find out every single chunk you're having an issue with and delete that pending tick data. But once you've done that, your chunks will behave as normal, which is brilliant. So you don't need to wipe out your chunks. You don't need to delete anything. You don't need to break your world. You just need to take it down, do a little bit of maintenance, which is fantastic. I really hope this video was helpful for you. I really hope this is going to help you fix your world like it has helped me fix mine. So now I can get cracking with actually building on Truly Bedrock again. Brilliant. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, comment and share. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.